Why are near-death experiences becoming more common? Well, hello, guys. It's John back again. I have a question here from a, a, a viewer, and I just want to go ahead and read it so that I can make sure I say it exactly as he said. Do you think NDEs are becoming more common, perhaps by a divine purpose to grow us less reliant on religion? I've been going down the NDE rabbit hole, and it's remarkable how many common elements they all have. I love the channel, by the way. Thank you very much, and I love you for watching. Um, there's a couple things in there I want to I want to touch on. Number one, I don't believe there is a divine purpose of anything. I believe we are here to ex to experience love and to grow with love. And I think that our consciousness is expanding, and our fears are dissipating. And the reason I say that is because 20 years ago, when I was out speaking uh, publicly about my experiences. People were very much in a different place and very shallow and only interested in past life stuff. They would not talk about expanding their consciousness or moving to a, high, a different level, not, not a higher level, but a different level, different level of awareness. And when I, when I, when I look at, at near-death experiences, when I came back to this work, everybody was expanding their consciousness. Everyone is interested in how they do it now. Rather than hearing about the past life stuff or talking about that, which there are still people who like to hear me talk about that. Everyone's now how do I how do I go to have an out of body experience? How do I, you know, open up to the source? How do I people are always asking me now the questions I wanted them to ask me twenty years ago. So why do I think near death experiences are becoming more common? I think they're becoming more common because people are expanding. People are, are, are realizing that they're more of their oneness with God. And the near-death experience is an interesting thing because, because well, it, and a lot of people would say it this way, the veil is getting thinner, right? Now, when I had my first out-of-body experience, there was a fear response. You know, I got out of body and I was like, whoa, this is, and I f fell right back into my body. It was until I, I released my fears that I began having the experiences, right? I had the experience of being on the other side and having someone literally say to me, you're not supposed to be here yet, and turned to this person next to them, and that person walked, literally walked over and tickled my body back into itself, my consciousness back into my body. But... Why do I think people are having these experiences? Not because there's any divine purpose that tells us that we are uh, need to re release religion. I think religion is is a natural uh, is naturally falling away because people are understanding that they don't need to fear. And the Buddha said the secret to enlightenment is the eradication of fear. And almost all religions are based in a fear of some kind, especially Christianity. It, you know, they want you to fear God and, and do and not do bad things, and you're going to burn in hell if you don't. And there's a lot of fear-based stuff there, right? People are falling away from the things that make no sense, and they're they're leaning into the feeling of love and oneness and caring for one another. And in Sufism, they say that God is on one side of a veil, and we're on the other side of the veil, and the life is a struggle against the veil, and the veil is our fear. We are literally releasing our fears. We are literally becoming less and less fearful. And so our consciousness is being able to see more because the fears are the things that, that obscure the view. And during near-death experiences, they cross over. And what do they cross over through? They cross over through their physical world belief. Christians see Jesus. You know, Hindus see Shiva. You know, they, uh, There's questions of Buddha. There's Aunt Tilly. There's... They see with exactly what they believe. There are people who believe in a hell and believe that they're unworthy and have done bad things and experience what they call hell on the other side. But the ones who are, have the longest near-death experiences traverse through those beliefs and come to a place, and they come back and they say, I experienced a love like you could never imagine. No words are not perfect. You can't explain what I felt. And most of them will lose their religion just because of feeling it. Of having that experience. 
But to feel love, you have to release your fears. And I think the fears are getting less. The, the, in fact, I think the reason why we have all the stuff you see on the news right now is because people are lashing out because they have control through fear. And when they see people becoming less and less fearful and more and more loving, they have to lash out. As Socrates said, when the debate is lost, slander becomes the tool of the loser. So they're, they're lashing out. They are the growing pains of our beautiful shift in, in consciousness. And the reason why the near-death experiences are becoming more common is because people are less fearful. And when they cross over, they're not thinking about the horrible places anymore. They're, they're, they're more open to crossing over. And, and I think that that is, really, that is really why we're here. I don't think it's an external God's divine purpose or plan because I don't believe in those. I believe God and I are one, and we're all one, and you're one, and I'm one together. And I think that's why, uh, why, why it's happening right that, the way it is. So you guys, I hope that answers your question. You guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.